Hello Virgo, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your weekly reading. I've gotten back to doing with reading, so yay. And here on this channel, we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. So Virgo, this reading is going to be going from today, July the 8th, all the way through to the 14th of July. Um, please feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, however... If this doesn't resonate, it's general reading. The shoe don't fit. Don't try to put it on. It's not yours. So, you know, go check out your other... Sometimes I, I you know, other signs. Sometimes I resonate much, much more with the moon. Um, sign, moon sign reading. I'm an Aries. Moon. Um, so sometimes I resonate much better with that, okay? So here we go. Um, what do we have for Virgo? Between July the 8th and the 14th, there we go, for July the 8th through the 14th, one more shuffle, there we go, then we'll cut and we'll start doing our reading. So, we're going to do five cards here, there we go, okay? Um, first card is going to be what's coming towards you energetically, second card is going to be the energy you're bringing to the table. Third card is going to be uh, potential obstacles that you're facing. Fourth card is going to be uh, what's going to help you through it. And fifth and final card will be potential outcome and or advice. All right. So let's see what the cards have for us today. Well, that started out wonderful, Virgo. You guys are you guys are really coming out of it, Virgo. Interesting. So overall energy I have for you guys is the two of swords in reverse. So there's a decision. Like I perhaps you're coming out of a time of indecision. Yeah. You're coming out of a time of indecision and coming into a time of clarity. And you're coming out of a time with the seven of cups in the reverse underneath that of confusion. And you're here you are, here you guys are, right? You're coming out of this like Okay, I've been like withdrawn within myself to myself. Now I'm ready to kind of emerge and make a decision and and do what I need to do. Um, the energy coming towards you is the star card in the upright. So lots of hope, lots of love, lots of light, lots of potential. Like you're beginning to once again feel like, you know, life is it can be good. Um, this and the magician, these are also signs of manifestation. So this is a really good time to like look towards the stars and look within yourself and really say, what is it that I want, right? What is, what is it that, um, I desire? What is it that I, um, what do I feel very strongly that, um, is part of my purpose and my plan? Okay. And all those things, you just, you just start thinking on them and you know, you notice that what she's doing is she's again emptying out both of her cups she's looking towards the stars she's got both her third eye is open and so she's, she's really just allowing um god to tell her spirit to tell her guide her these are the things that we should want need and desire okay what you're bringing to the table is the eight of cups in the uprights so you're walking away from situations that have caused you hurt pain before that have caused you, um, you know, an emotional injury that just aren't serving you anymore. That you're like, I don't need this. I don't need this. I, it's time for me to walk away and start anew. So I'm very proud of you because the daily readings that I've been doing, it's been a little tough. You guys have been going through, and so I'm really glad to see that you're kind of coming out of that time period. Um, the potential obstacle, which I find interesting, is the Ten of Wands in reverse. So this is, but usually the Ten of Wands in reverse is like releasing of burdens. So I feel that what's being said is don't fight the release of those burdens. Um, or, you know, but let's get some little clarity because what's going to help us overcome that is the Page of Pentacles in the upright. So this is creativity. This is um, new ways to make money, new ways to find stability. So that's excellent. And then the potential outcome or advice is the four of wands in reverse. I feel that is, whoa, okay, I don't even really need to. Um, I feel that that is um, 
saying to us, don't in, be careful. Like there's a potential to enter into a union or commitment with someone. Um, but I, the, uh, not, but the advice is kind of not to do it or you won't, you will choose not to because it's not the right time yet. So if I'm looking into the 10 of wands in the reverse and why this, I think the reason why this is an obstacle is because by releasing the burdens, right? You, you're seeing the sun, right? You're seeing like this bright future, which is good. However, with the Knight of Swords in the upright, the like um, it's movement forward, but it's also not de fully defined. There is a fairly clear pathway. Well, there's a lot of back and forth in and out energy. Um, there's a lot of back and forth in and out energy with it. So I, I would be a little cautionary about moving forward very quickly and that be sure that this person is really committed um, and is going to be there for the long haul. Yes, it's, I'm glad that you're like letting go of other people's crap and understanding that their crap is not your crap. And just like, okay, I'm good. Um, why, is the page, why is the Page of Pentacles here, though? Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright? Well, it's going to help us along our journey this week. Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright, please? What's going to help us along our journey here today? Why? Is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright, please? Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the upright? Yeah, so this forward movement, this new idea, this creativity, this kind of newness is going to um, further bolster your belief that your ship is coming in. You're going to be able to make decisions with some clarity. I mean, this is good grounded energy for you. And you're going to come out of conflict here with someone or with the whole situation. Like you're not, you're, there's clarity. You're not going to, you're not going to be conflicted into what to do in, in deed or in word. Um, you're kind of avoiding a disaster or coming out of a tower energy. You're avoiding a cataclysmic or a very strong shift. Um, and then able to kind of rest in this, like, be with the family, that kind of thing, right? And now no longer feeling you need to hoard or with or keep everything to yourself or withdrawn. This Ten of Wands energy, though, of not... Sometimes when we feel free enough to release other people, the burdens that we have felt that we've taken on, that freedom leaves us a little open and a little unprotected. So just be sure that the next person you bring in, be a little cautionary towards that. Now, you're not going to have nearly the level of conflict that you had with this previous individual or this previous situation, um, be it ethical, be it um, just I, the two ideologies not really meshing. You're not going to have nearly the conflict that you did before. But do not enter into this relationship. They, they're going to want a commitment from you too. Don't commit yet. Wait and see. Just let it develop. Be your normal Virgo self and let it develop a little bit. Don't rush in because there's this Knight of Wands energy that's there. And I'm not really necessarily feeling like this person, like you just need to vet them a little bit and see where they're truly at. It's kind of what I'm saying, hearing. Like vet them, make sure that this is the right thing. There is going to be a lot of creativity, a lot of hopefulness. Things are going to vibe with you guys very easily. Communication will flow very nicely. Just don't get caught up in all that to the point that you make a commitment too fast the other way. Okay? That's just don't walk, crawl, and then run. 
walk, crawl, and run. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys for this week, Virgo. hope this was of assistance to you. Um, again, please hit that like, that subscribe, and that bell button. Please also leave me comments. I love to read the comments. Um, I am doing readings, like, basically because of, you know, who, which signs have the most um, view time and leave me the most comments. Um, so I do, that's how I'm, like, operating and what, what signs I put up first. Um, so you guys were, like, right up there. I appreciate the support. Um, my contact information is going to be down below and also at the end of this video. Please contact me for personal readings, um, energy healing, cord cutting, all of those kinds of things. I'm here to help you with all of that, those spiritual things. Um, all right. That's what I have. Thank you very, very much. Um, peace, love, blessing, joy to you and yours today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste, my friends. Love you. Bye-bye.